Hello everyone, welcome back. Ignore the mess behind me. It's an absolute disaster down here. But we're not working down here right now, so I'm not even going to worry about it. Uh, Greg is out of town for his grandmother's 90th birthday. Uh, he's not going to be in a lot of this video. I think he'll be back tomorrow, so we'll see if we get up to anything or if he's needing a rest day or not. I'm very excited. I just picked up our new mattress. We've been using a double bed in the bus for like three years now, I think. So really happy that we can finally upgrade to a queen size bed. So I'm going to bring that inside. It's one of those bed in a box one so I'm just gonna open it up let it sit overnight and then hopefully tomorrow we can spend the night in the house for the first time yeah I'm gonna bring the bed inside um, and then I'm gonna going to use the cardboard I wanted to repaint the bathroom vanity because uh, it was just a, a cheap one and it's supposed to be white but you can kind of see in some parts of it it doesn't seem like the paint is thick enough so I got some spray paint, I'm just going to do another coat just to even it all out and make it look a, a little bit better. And then, yeah, I think in this video we're going to focus on getting the bathroom set up. We've got a composting toilet that we are super excited to have. And I'll tell you a little bit about that in a while and um, a little bit about the company that we got it from because um, they are super awesome. So yeah, I'm going to start pulling in this mattress. Hopefully I can lift it up the stairs by myself, but we will see. Not sponsored or anything but the bed we went with is a Juno because they're $450 but we've been using a Juno in the bus for years and it's awesome and super affordable so we decided to just go with the same we're gonna have to build a bed frame for it and it's got to have wood slats so that's not gonna be a problem I'm gonna let it sit overnight and kind of expand and it's just really cool to see this in here and kind of how everything's gonna fit it looks great so now I'm going to open up this cardboard and go set it up outside so that I can spray paint the vanity on the cardboard and just keep it nice and clean. And uh, yeah, then once that is dry, 
I can get that in place in the bathroom and kind of figure out what's going on in there. And then we will be hooking up the composting toilet. It should be fairly simple because of all the, we plumbed everything for it specifically. That's why it's been sitting in a box here for months. I'm gonna uh, start working on the vanity. It's a bit disappointing. Um, it says you don't need to sand or anything. It just will stick to hard surfaces, but uh, that didn't go good. So it was a bit of a disaster painting the vanity. I uh, quickly wiped it off with Varsol before it dried on the front. I only painted the front and the side that's gonna be against the wall. So I think it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna take that as a sign to just leave it as it is. And yeah, I'm not gonna paint it right now. If it's bugging me in the future, I can paint it, but for now, I just really don't want to deal with sanding it and trying to get the paint to go on nicely. Greg is home from his trip now, so we are going to work on getting the toilet installed. All right, while Greg is finding everything that he needs to get all this set up, I thought I would tell you a bit about the composting toilet that we're going with. Um, we decided to go with the separate Villa 9020, I believe it is. We went through a company based out of Ontario called Canadian Off-Grid Depot. And we cannot recommend this company enough. It is a small family-run business and he carries all kinds of um, off-grid stuff, composting toilets, the unique brand propane stoves, fridge, solar fridges. Um, solar gear, I just noticed on the website a grey water filtration system which we are going to be checking out to see if that is something we could be using here and uh, yeah, highly recommend checking out this company if you're in the market for a composting toilet or any sort of off-grid or cabin equipment. We'll put the link down in the description. You can go check out their website, let them know that this off-grid life sent you and we just want to thank Ryan and his team for hooking us up with these awesome toilets. I'm so excited to have a real toilet after using a DIY one for so many years. Hasn't been bad, but I'm just looking forward to having something that's easy to clean and just looks good and clean and tidy. The cool thing about this toilet is you've got the bucket down below, but 
the toilet seat actually, when you sit on it, it opens up this kind of shield. So if you're not sitting on it, you don't see what's inside of the toilet. Once you sit on it to do your business, it moves the shield aside. And uh, I think that's a really cool feature. It's got a 12 volt fan in there, so you will not smell anything. It's got the urine separator. One of the main reasons we went with this composting toilet is when you're looking at all the options of these kind of like made ones, what would you call that? Um, fabricated ones. Fabricated ones. The ones like Sunmar, where they have these big tanks that go under your house, they have all these moving parts that get covered in poop, and then what are you supposed to do if you have to fix it? You gotta clean the, clean the poop. Yeah, it's disgusting, and it's, there's too many things that could break. So this is just self-contained, except for the urine separator. It's super easy to install, and... Super easy to clean. Yeah, uh, if anything and... breaks, there's no mess that you're trying to deal with when For you're sure. fixing anything. There's something to be said about the simplicity of the unit as well. These should last, or the bucket inside should last a family for up to a month of daily use. So, Which the unique thing about this uh, composting toilet is you don't actually have to put any sawdust on your poop, your waste, whatever, um, because there is a lid on the top that lets a little bit of air in. There's a 12 volt fan that sucks out everything continuously. So there's negative pressure that comes into the toilet all the time, causing dehydration, which takes the, the weight, the water weight out of your waste. We've been told we should be good for a month before we clean it out. And I'm curious to see what the actual outcome of, of uh, our business is gonna be. Yeah, because currently we're getting like a week with the DIY toilet that which we have. Which is fine five gallon bucket. So. But it's nice to oh, not... and speaking of the bucket, um, so the other thing too is talking about, you know, fancy things with it. There is a, where you put the bucket, each time you sit on it, it rotates it. So every time you do your business, it's moving the bucket around so that everything is kind of like... Evenly filling. Yeah, it's evenly Which filling. Which is brilliant, really. But with keeping in mind, the part that spins isn't getting covered in poop because everything is just going into the bucket. For sure. And that's it. Simple. Again, big thanks to Ryan to sending, for sending us this awesome unit. I know Katie's already mentioned, but check out CanadianOffGridDepot.com. They are a family-based small business that focus on customer service and making sure that you get what you need yeah. for doing what we do. So yeah, put the links in the description. Let him know we sent you and I hope that he is able to help you out because he helped us out. All right, let's get this installed. Oh, super heavy. No, it isn't. No, it's not. The way that we are installing this is we're actually, this is a fan that comes out of this unit that goes into this. And the traditional house doesn't have this. This is our venting for our plumbing is our plumbing vent so we've we can connect our our actual ventilation coming pushing out of the toilet into our plumbing venting mm -hmm. so, or you can also just put it on its own vent as well or you can put it on its own vent but we decided to just hook it into our system <laughs> positive to negative negative to positive you blow your fuse that's it but that prevents it and that prevents it from destroying the little fan inside We go like this. So these are set up to hook up to a battery if that's what you're doing. Yeah, straight to a 12 volt battery. But we are going to have it straight to our solar. Yeah. And that's how you um, put the wires. Yeah, you go like this and you bite them. If your teeth are exactly the same as mine. Smaller gauge, like, like it's perfect. Oh. Doesn't like. Don't just spit it on the ground. <laughs> I drive you crazy. Pro tip, <laughs> when you are painting stuff, cover up your pipes and wires and things that come out of the house. Yes. Because we didn't and now we have to look at terribly painted stuff.
Katie's gonna make me fix it. Bad. Bad idea. Can you go grab me some big stretch the white? Yes. <sighs> it's hard to film in a tiny room like that. Just gonna dry fit this first. Oh man, that's gonna freeze the boat. Gluing. That's got a rubber seal there, and that's on there pretty tight. I got that all glued in. So our plan for that, the reason why we wanted the toilet on kind of a an angle is we're gonna do shelving in the corner for toilet paper or whatever. It so, just makes more sense for the yeah. room. Yeah, uh, it's kind of an awkward bathroom, but it's, it's fine. We don't, need, we don't need anything else. Okay. So it goes like that. Uh, they do also give you some compostable bags, so. You can throw them in, may as well. Yeah, until they run out, because I don't really want to keep buying bags. What is that, Katie? What? What is that bag? Poo bag. It's a poo bag! What do you think? Yeah. Will it take it? Yeah, so. Here we go. that. Now I just got to do all the plumbing. All right, that just about wraps up the bathroom. Uh, I'm gonna have to pick up a faucet tomorrow and this is my mental reminder that it's a one hole faucet. So a one hole faucet. Leave it in the comments so that Katie can remember <laughs> even though that's in the future. <laughs> one. Yeah. So yeah, we'll probably see you tomorrow when we install the faucet. And uh, clean up the bathroom and, and install plumbing. plumbing. And then that'll be it. But see you tomorrow. I wanted to address one of the comments we had in the last video about why we're doing a composting toilet and there's two reasons. 
One is we don't have a lot of water here, so we really need to be conservative with it and flushing drinking water down the toilet just doesn't work out here. So we did kind of plan for the future in case we or someone else wants to put a flushing toilet in here, but uh, that's gonna be way down the line. And then the other reason is that we like to compost. We want to build up our soil around here and we've been doing it for years. We've got really good compost and everything is starting to grow a lot better than when we were first out here. So something to be said for that full circle of growing stuff, turning it into waste, and then growing more stuff out of it. So yeah, I hope that clears up any questions or confusion about why we're doing that and why we plumbed in septic as well. Another thing is the urine separator is going to take the urine into our plumbing out into a grey water pit and it's just going to be underground and gone. So um, that's just how we're going to deal with urine and we have thought about recycling the grey water from the sinks and the shower. The urine is set up so that it's at the very end of our plumbing line. So we have all the grey water coming in before and then we can tee it off send it out to a recycle filtration uh, setup and the urine will just continue on and go underground. So lots of planning has gone into it and it's just a matter of getting to the point where we can set it up and have it functioning. I was hoping to get a lot further on the bathroom this week but with Greg's trip and we've got family visiting and he's had a crazy week at work. It's been really hot here. We didn't get very far. So I have the faucet there, but it's not installed. We didn't get the plumbing done, which isn't that big of a deal because we don't actually have running water anyways. So it's not like we could actually use it. So, but we do have the toilet ready to go. We just need to get the bidet gun hooked up as well, but like I said, we can't use that because we don't have running water at this point. So, so just a little step closer to uh, being able to use this bathroom, uh, which is very exciting. And we have been sleeping in the bedroom, but it's uh, incredibly hot up here because we just have the sunset coming straight into the bedroom all the way until it goes down and we don't have curtains yet so it's really hot in here but it has been very nice to spend the night in here and watch the sunset from our bed so yeah really enjoying that i am going to wrap up this video it's going to be more unfinished projects but <laughs> that's just how we roll around here so Thanks for watching and go check out Canadian Off-Grid Depot if you're looking for some off-grid appliances, composting toilets, cabin equipment, solar, grey water filtration systems. He's got everything and we cannot recommend that company enough. So links are in the description. Thanks Ryan for helping us out and uh, we'll see you all in the next video. Mm -hmm.